Hey food fam, what's going on? Today we are doing another video on a local joint which is on Green Lane in Ilford. The place is called Donna Plug and the place is called Donna Plug. That's the window there, Donna Plug. Oh, I don't know whether we can see the sign. That's the sign. I'll get another decent shot in for you guys. This place is on the corner of Green Lane. That's Green Lane. All the shops are shut right now, apart from the food shops. If you guys ever want to come in, top of Green Lane, on the plug. It's rather, so it is the menu. You can see they've got a lot of options here. You guys, you can take a little, see there's some light reflecting. They got a serious amount of options. Still need to choose what I'm gonna get. <sighs> right guys, we got the donor plug. This is a bit far. Oh, is it recording? Yes, yeah, recording. Oh. There you go. This is what they call the Donna Plug Donna. This has got some cream on it as well, cheese. But I'm pretty sure it's not just cream. It's like a, I, I don't know. Okay. This is Naga wings. For anyone who doesn't know about Naga, it's a special spice. When I say spice, it's actually a chili. That smells really nice. Which has some serious Scoville units. Uh, this is their mushroom donna, which we just got on the side to try because we've never had something like that before. It sounds a bit weird as well. Yeah, and then the regular chips and it says butter wings. I'm pretty sure they're just like normal wings. And, and this is sweet sauce. Sweet sauce. We'll get a close up shot of it as well. Though. Beetroot sauce. Beetroot sauce? Yeah, beetroot. Okay, beetroot sauce. Oh, that's one of the biceps. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like a bit of garlic sauce. Plenty of garlic sauce. So let's get stuck in. He's got a wrap. We've got that. Is that one in there? Yeah, yeah. He's got the wrap with the donna plug donna inside it. Let's try this. Like it's just donna. Yeah. It's just donna. It's uh, nice. I can feel a bit of flavour in there. But it's a bit of a different flavour. I don't know what it is. You can taste that little cream after effect here. Yeah. And it's burning the side of my mouth. I'm burning the side. Okay, he's, the, he's a weakling when it comes to spice. No. I love spice, but I can't have it that much because... I got issues. I have the stomach of a little girl. Let's try that out. Right. That's too much. <clears throat> Mushroom donut. That's quite nice. Oh yeah. After you've had a few Choose of that. It's got like mushroom taste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why it's called mushroom donut, right? Oh, it's not called a mushroom donut. What do they call it? I don't know. They have some funky names. It's called a mush donut. That's what it's called. A mush donut. Mush donut. Hmm. There are Bengali brothers who own the place. And he knows how to do the Bengali accent properly because uh, he's half, his kid's half Bengali. I've got a hybrid. I it is good. Because the family are away, they've been building up tissue. It's like I've had like takeaway every day. And bro. forks in the dishwasher. I got dishes in the dishwasher from the day they left because I restricted myself to those dishes which are on the rack. I swear they left two weeks ago. 
And that's right. This much. So the dishwasher is like a cupboard, right? I'm not gonna lie, you could put this red sauce it's mainly from Spice Hub, but I think all the donut shops have adopted it. Yeah. Banging. To be perfectly honest, when it comes down to Bengali uh Bengali place donuts, Spice Hub is the, is the best. It. Can't be it. Except for this one fake Spice Hub in Ilford, Ow. which is maybe 2% better than Spice Hub. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Spice Hut Express. Yeah, that's, that's the, the brothers that, are, that, that asked about the sauce. Oh, okay. And when, I, when I go Spice Hut, I go extra hot every time. Or hot, if I'm not feeling it. Repetition. There. Oh, otherwise there's another one. No, I use one. So what we're going to do is Spice Hut, extra hot. Never. Hot then at least. I actually do prefer the mushroom one. The musk donna. Yeah, it's nice. Over the regular donna plug donna. Mm. Let's try a butter wing. Try a butter wing. It's probably a regular wing. I'm gonna eat it like a normal person. Do mm. you think you know what it is? Garlic sauce. No, where was that place that we had? The garlic sauce from there, I could drink it. That garlic sauce was from. Um, I feel like that grilla. one might would be banging. Cereal griller. We've done a review of that place already. Mmm. Is, is it but actual butter wing or is it? Oh yeah, no one. Let's see. Oh. I can't open it. So. Ah, there you go. Butter wing is a regular wing. To be honest, it's not very great. What's that? It's a standard wing. Which is not even very special, to be honest, like you said. So, Nura called me today. I don't know why they didn't phone you and ask. What, they called you specifically? I don't know, I think they just called me. But Nura called me today and she was like, can you ask Baba? Can we I do mean, food fam in Pakistan? That's the plan. We're gonna go there. So Karachi is the fifth most dangerous city in the world, other than war zones. But it's probably the top three in terms of food. Would you agree with that? Yeah, but I think Lahore is as well. No, yeah, Lahore is what, but Karachi has a mix of everything. It has from Lahore. It's Burns Road. It has places from Lahore, which is basically the cultural cultural capital of Pakistan. I got people from Peshawar. There are all sorts of flavors there. I got the Indian flavors there because obviously the Muhajir who migrated from Delhi and stuff. It's basically, imagine Brick Lane, but full of Pakistanis with, what are they called? Tawa. Massive Tawas. Tawa is a hot plate. It's a massive hot plate. But talking about donut plug, would I get it again? No. I wouldn't get it again. Oh, I've just got oh top fries. I don't even know if that area is still classed as Orpington. Well, what was it called? I don't know what it is. I just know the route. Right. Oh, why am I that? So I reckon the star of the show is going to be this. This is you see the redness on that. The redness is pure spice. Ooh. Sid cup, top. top fries, fish bar. Okay, don't worry about the top fries. You've got to do the no, spice. yes, I have to worry about them because they are the kings. I'm not even gonna touch that. Okay. okay. 
It's got raw naga sauce on it. Yeah, that must be. Which means that the naga sauce hasn't even been cooked properly. You know what I mean by that, yeah? Which means good luck tomorrow. Which means good luck tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm used to spice. I have a lot of spice. The chips are very, very rich. Well. If I was to rate this place, I'd rate it average. Average. I feel like visually my thing is better than yours. Which means that if you're hungry and you're driving past the place, carry on driving about a mile down the road and you can see the other spice hut. Basically, but it might be someone else's cup of tea. Might be someone else's cup of tea if you like average food, yeah. I feel like you just, you just want to taste it. I've just been tasting everything. Taste what? No, as in you just want to taste it and that's it, you're done with it. Oh, right, yeah. To be honest, this is kind of nice. Try that. It's just that, but with tortilla. Sometimes the bread can make the difference. 100%. Yeah. And if it was a little bit thicker, if there is two. Mm. That's a good bite. Average. No, I think mm. it's the best thing here. Oh, the naga wing is the best thing. The butter wings are a bit butters. This is lovely. If I was oh, to go there again, I'd get that. Lovely. If you rate out of 10, would you rate that? Okay, it's not lovely, is it? But. I'll rate a 6.5. I was going to say that. But if I was going to go there, I'd probably get that. In a wrap. To be perfectly honest, I don't think I'm ever going to go here again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, owners, if you're watching it. And why would you have a but flower? This is a it's like Donald Trump. Honest review. It's not really a review. It's honest eating. No worries. What? All right, this sweet chili thing. Even that is only average. <laughs> seriously? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, crap. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's average, you know. How can you get a vegetable wrong, which is like pickles? <sighs> it's not got the zing. It's not got the zing, that's right. The pizzazz. I don't want this chip. Try the chip. Well, you, had, you got chips. Do you know what you should do next time? Or in one of them? At American Breakfast Review. Did you have the garlic sauce? Yeah. See, even, even the sauce is average. What's going on, guys? Unfortunately, I think I'm done. So I tell you what the best thing of the whole meal is? The Coke. This kind of Coke right Like it from his fridge. <laughs> that came from the fridge. 
<laughs> How much was it all? 20 something, what was it? I don't know, so it's asked you. 20 something pounds. It's quite a good amount of food for, for what it is. Yeah, I, I'll give it that. Reasonably be priced after seeing you know, a whole corona inflation. Ah, take you can do it, bro. Well, we can do it, bro. I'm gonna give it to you. Take it home. It's gonna get frozen. That's fine. Let it freeze it. I'm happy with that. As long as it doesn't come in front of me again. To be fair, I can give this to homeless people and I can make sandwiches out of that. I'll go spice out, get the proper sauce, free fry it up. Yeah, do that, do that. Mmm, that's really sounding bangy. Enjoy it. <clears throat> Looks like I have to keep the naga wings, right? Yeah, yeah, keep the naga wings. Oh, is that a two bow? I have never had a two bow naga wing before. That is just weird. I don't know if you can see that, guys. That's like. Average, <laughs> average is coriander, right? Yeah, yeah. That's average coriander, that is. You know what I mean? That looks like it was in the fridge for like six months. That looks like our mum's. Coriander ice. Yeah. <laughs> I usually finish my food <clears throat> like an animal. <clears throat> I think we can call it the end of the video because this is average food. Hundred percent disappointing. But yeah. I, I, I still think we should do American breakfast. Or... We'll do American breakfast. We'll do it for dinner one day. I'm gonna make it. Oh, you're gonna make I'll it? Clock the pancake recipe. Who's gonna make it though? Denny's pancakes. Because okay. apparently they're better than IHOP. That's for the people who know. I don't know what. what you don't you know what IHOP is? I don't know. I don't know what IHOP is. International House of Pancakes in America. No. They're like a massive chain. They basically are number one for breakfast and lunch and dinner. They have everything, but it's all homemade, fresh. So, when are you making it then? When's the next thing? Saturday. Any day you choose. Saturday. Saturday. I hop. Was it not? What was it called? Denny's American breakfast. breakfast. American breakfast. Coming to you, homemade by the frat brother, fat brother. And to speak. No, I told Nora I'm gonna call myself Nora. She is. Yeah, you can never be Nora. Well, I'm quite cute. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing compared to her. Okay, can you bend over and like uh, switch that off? <clears throat> I said bend over. There's too much belly. Right, fat brother, would you agree that food is bad when you start talking about other food while you're eating that same food? Definitely. That's what happened with Donna Plug. So my verdict is, if you want to go and have an average Donna, an average food, and even an average chili, which you can't get wrong. Average garlic sauce. Average garlic sauce, and trust me, we love our garlic sauce. Is well. this their spoon? I don't, I don't I have no idea. I was going to say if it is, we need to see if it's average. So go to Donna Plug. Otherwise, go to any, any other Donna place. You know, one of the bad things though is that is that you have to get a Donna right. If you don't get a Donna right, then it's just big fail, inedible. And it's not that this is inedible. Seen. This is not inedible, but it's just not got that pizzazz. Pizzazz. That's right. So, guys, like and subscribe. Or well, don't like, actually, unlike this video. <laughs> don't unlike it. That's not good for the algorithm. Like the video for honest review. Subscribe to the channel, Food Fam, and we'll see you in the next video. And me. And American, American pancakes. American pancakes. <laughs>